First thing I'll do is select my MP3 or MP4. I'm going to run through some processes, strip out the audio, and present us with a graph. Now, what I have found is you can look at what you want. To, the first thing you want to do is look at where your minimum filter should be set. Okay, for the filter below, one of the first important items that you have to look at. And what you can do is expand out um, the graph with the in and out, zoom in and out. And so you can move up and down on the left. You can see that this is already at a 0 0.01, which is actually right around the recommended range that um, I have filtered every single video has been between you know, 0 0.009 and 0 0.014. So what you'll do is you'll look at this graph and you'll see that this right here would be cut out uh, 0 0.089, that's right. And as you kind of move around, you, you look and kind of see what is the minimum filter level. And so again, uh, with this, we'll go with 0 0.01. If you, if you go too high, you're gonna be cutting off words, um, which isn't great. And so to really save, to save time, you wanna be able to make sure that you're getting the, the lowest range of the, end of, uh, of the end of a sentence. And it looks like about 0 0.01 uh, or 0 0.009 is probably gonna be where we wanna be um, with this particular filter. So I would either keep it at 0.01 or 0 0.009, and then the split length is where you really save a lot of time. And what I typically like to do is go between 0.25 and 0.5. Okay, so this one I'm gonna do 0.25. Now I'm going to do an update analysis and it'll recalculate and show me on the graph about how long, how much additional time I'm going to be saving. Processing time on this, uh, on, uh, on the software is a little off. We're working to fix this, uh, but this one says I'm going to shorten this uh, five and a half minute file by a, a whole, an entire minute, 11 seconds. I hit start processing. You can expect the files to take about 30 minutes per five minutes of show that you're looking to render at this point in time. Um, uh, specifically for video, for audio, it's much, much faster, but this is going through cutting out cutting frames, recompiling them, stitching them back together. Uh, this would take a long time inside any platform, Camtasia or Final Cut Pro, when you look at, it's making hundreds of cuts um, to, to recompile.